And the storyteller knows that he is in the right place when he is standing in front of the gates of the Palace of Sans Souci, the Palace of Banishment. He goes through the gates and he goes up to the main door of the palace and he knocks on the door and the door is opened by a steward who is dressed in the livery of a fine house but it is a livery that has seen better days. He is shown in and he is shown into the great dining hall where the prince and his entourage sit round having just finished a meal. And the storyteller bows to the prince and presents his credentials as an emissary of the prince's father, the king. To call him back from banishment that has lasted over ten years. <clears throat> and why should a storyteller be here? To remind you, your highness, of why you were banished. And to remind you, your highness, of what it is to be a real man. Storyteller or assassin, asks the prince. Answer my riddle to prove you're a storyteller. Look at me and tell me, am I man? Am I ass? Am I dog? Or am I monkey? And the storyteller looked at the prince and smiled and bowed and with his chest towards the ground he simply lifted his head and said, Your Highness, you are an ass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. The prince's entourage jumped to their feet. Their hands went to the jeweled hilts of their daggers, but the prince simply smiled and indicated that they should sit down and he said to the storyteller, an ass. Pray tell why. And the storyteller said, Your Highness obviously knows why, for Your Highness must know the story. That when God created the world, He gave every animal a natural span of years. And the Lord God said to the monkey, Monkey, I give you 30 years on earth. And the monkey said, Oh no, please, Lord God, 30 years of gibbering and waving my arm and being laughed at by children, please, not so long. And so the Lord God took ten years from the monkey, and the monkey was satisfied. And then the Lord God said to the dog, I am giving you thirty years for your span of your life. And the dog said, oh Lord God, please don't give me thirty years. Thirty years of growling in the corner and barking, oh, please. Take some from me. And so the Lord God took 18 years from the dog, and the dog was satisfied. And the Lord God said to the ass, here is your span of 30 years. And the ass said, oh no, not 30 years of carrying men's burdens upon my back so it is broken and my knees are bent. Please take some from me. And so the Lord God took 12 years from the ass. And then he said to man, here man is your span of life of 30 years. And man said, is that all? <laughs> is that all? It's not enough for me to achieve all that I will achieve in my lifetime. I need more. And so the Lord God gave him more. He gave him the years that he had taken from the other animals. And so for 30 years, a man is a man. And for the next 12 years, he is an ass. <laughs> Weighed down by the world. For the next 18 years, he is a dog, growling at strangers and barking at people. And for the last 10 years, he is a gibbering monkey. <laughs> Laughed at by children. <laughs> And, Your Highness, I know at what age you were banished, and I know for how long you have been in this palace, and so therefore I know that you are indeed an ass. And the prince clapped slowly and said, not only a storyteller, but a mathematician too. 